Hey, hey guys. Hi. Um, I have Old 57. Old 57. Sandy Blonde. Sandy Blonde. Salty Kiss. Salty Kiss. Bonet's Garden. Bonet's Garden. Bohemian Blue. Bohemian Blue. And Pennies from Heaven. Pennies from Heaven. I have the Caddy Brush. And I have a couple of the uh, Little D's. The series this summer is Under the Boardwalk. This one's going to be called Saltwater Taffy. Okay, I am going to start with the Sandy Blonde on the edges and Old 57 here. So we're doing water, guys. This is under the boardwalk. This, the inspiration is going to have water down the center. So we're going to have a brighter, and it's going to get deeper as it gets closer and more wide. And then we're going to. So I'm gonna go back in with Bohemian Blue. Um, just to review, you guys, this is Sandy Blonde, Old 57, Salty Kiss, Monet's Garden, and Bohemian Blue. I'm gonna be adding in some copper as well. Tons laughing faces, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. You really should be better at this. I thing. really should. Let me see how this is gonna work. Just press the off button. You don't know.
front of this will be obviously the feature, the sides are welded, just the supporting rolls basically. Um, done by then. And um, what do you think? Who's your good girl? And the notification bell thingies, if you haven't done that already. I like your vocabulary. Tonight. Push, it's push. like large like bells I, and the ding, I bring the it dinglings. Out. I bring it out for the show. All right, guys, it's Sunday night. You know what that means. We're going to turn this hardware copper, copper, which is pennies from heaven. It's a liquid patina from Debbie's Design Diary. And uh, Matt put the hardware back on for me. And this piece is really coming along. Don't you think, you guys? Matt, what are you thinking about it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is pretty funny sounding. The inspiration photo. This is under the boardwalk. You can see there's a pier. Um, and then we put some of that old school up there for Matt. So uh, that's kind of my design scheme. And I sprayed liquid sunshine over this and then um, also dripped a little bit of a really bright acrylic. I took off my shirt and people were having wrecks out in the front of our house. But you st it was crazy. I had to put my shirt back on because all those women were gawking at me. It was embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just going to get this in here. Guys, this is a very sheer, watered down. The, the liquid patina acts more like a glaze. So I'm putting it on here with my uh, little Frenchie brush from Paint Pixie. me and say I don't know where you get your color combinations like how do you come up with colors when you work on your furniture and the best way that I know how to tell people is look at nature look at flower combinations all of those colors go together because they're the creations right right they're just they already go together So what I'm doing is I'm hitting that water with the copper and kind of getting it to move. So right now it's pretty shiny and it's very, it's darker. When it dries guys, it's going to be very sheer and sparkly and when the light hits it just right, it, you're just going to go, oh. Alright, so more copper guys. Kind of putting it in random places because I'm going to hit it with water in just a second. Uh, it needs wax, but it needs to dry. I'm going to use the shipwrecked wax over the copper hardware to give it that patina look for the verdigris, right? Kind of a driftwood. Basically, if you take sandy blonde and use old school, you're going to get kind of a driftwood, driftwood color. So I'm going to use dark wax on it in areas to create shading. I appreciate you all. Have a great night. We should go for a walk. No. Hello. Uh, we are going to finish off this piece today. I'm going to put this on the hardware. It is shipwrecked by DIY. It's um, a finishing wax. Look at that over the copper. It's going to be so good. I put clear wax over the entire piece. Uh, the only thing I'm adding now is black. Um, and right now I just want to create a little bit of shadowing because we can't have it be real glamorous. Now guys, it's, it's under the boardwalk.
turn it to the side and see about putting some black wax over here. All that I'll do tomorrow is I'll use the buff from Pink Pixie and shine it up really well once the wax is completely dry and it's going to just make it shine and make it even more durable. I did put clear over this entire piece yesterday before I'm doing this black wax, okay? One thing that I did not do on camera was I dripped some um, kissing booth in here and I put just a smidge of purple down here and that was really just to create something a little bit unexpected which I do in uh, all of my pieces of furniture. So I am going to get a little bit of wax from and I'm going to use the JRV stencil brush because this is what I like to do and I'm going to put it right over here over the copper on the hardware, okay? Dee Dee would like to know, do you clean the wax out of your brush with soap and water? No, I have never washed any of my wax brushes at all. Never ever put any moisture on them. I, before I get ready to use them, I go up to my drop cloth and I go, and I soften the bristles. And then when I'm done, I go back over it and then I put it back on the shelf. And I've been using this one well over a year. This was like the original version. It's worn down, but Paint Pixie brushes last forever. The honey, I use the dark one for black and dark brown. I have clear and I have a white one. So DIY only has four colors. So I just, I have four, right. I have three wax brushes. Well, I think I'm done. I sprayed liquid sunshine over the whole piece, so watered it down and it really made it warmer and kind of put a sunny glow on top of the whole piece. Appreciate all of you that have hung out with us. Thanks for being here. This was so much fun. I feel like I painted it with every single one of you. We are a team. We're like team turquoise, right? That was very exciting. Sometimes I get fired up. It's always risky if he tries to answer them, but... What do you mean risky? Oh, nothing, honey. It's spot on. No. Do you remember what we're calling it? Have you been paying attention? Yes. Laffy Taffy. Nope. Oh. <laughs>